Welcome to potstill.com. Today we're answering what is single pot still whiskey? So you may be familiar that whiskey is just an amalgamation of a couple of ingredients put in a barrel and given time to mature. That is a type of grain, yeast, water, all mixed together, distilled through a copper pot and then put into that magical whiskey vessel that is like these wooden planks right here behind me. Other types of whiskey around the world you might be familiar with, be it single malt, bourbon, American whiskey, Japanese whiskey, Scotch whiskey in general. Single pot still is its own classification of whiskey. Traditionally, this comes from Ireland. This is a mixture of malted barley and unmalted barley, as well as a combination of other grains, such as wheat, oats, and rye. But as per the current definition, other grains such as rice or tritico can also be used. So traditionally, single pot still whiskey was made in Ireland. It was also the style that was predominantly made in Ireland. Up until around the 1950s, single malt uh, didn't make uh, up more than 5% of whiskey made in Ireland. It was predominantly single pot still whiskey. This style of whiskey is quite flavorsome, mouth coating, and is also what made Irish whiskey the largest selling whiskey spirit in the world throughout the 1800s. Traditionally, uh, this has been made all across the island of Ireland. It can be peated, it can be unpeated, it can be triple distilled, double distilled. Uh, the only thing it can't be, as per Irish law, is one time distilled. There are a couple of uh, articles that surround uh, single pot still whiskey that enforce its legislation and also its definition. The Irish Whiskey Act of 1980 broadly just outlines what is Irish whiskey, and that is. Uh, grain, yeast, water, wood, vessel no longer, no larger than 700 litres. And of course, time, maturation for a minimum of three years on the island of Ireland. But the Irish Whiskey Technical File or the Product Specification Sheet, as it's more commonly known as on the EU level, is the definition of what single pot still is. In the current definition, it must be a minimum of 30% malted barley, 30% unmalted barley and up to 5% other grains, such as wheat, oats and rye, as I mentioned before. This is then essentially milled, mashed, uh, fermented into uh, essentially a low alcoholic beer, and then it is distilled in copper pot stills. It is slightly confusing that this is named single pot still whiskey, which shares the name with the vessel that it's distilled in, but if the word single pot still whiskey is alongside Irish whiskey, this means the category itself of single pot still Irish whiskey, which is the mix mash. After maturation, you're usually left with a whiskey that has quite a viscous mouthfeel, uh, a little bit more of kind of a, what we call a pot still spice. It's a crackle or, or a grain spice from the unmalted barley. The unmalted barley doesn't break down the sugars in the same way that malt does, which means that not all those uh, sugars are used for alcohol creation and some are used for flavor creation instead when they're being broken down by the yeasts. This creates a very different whiskey uh, than the likes of single malt. Um, it is somewhat of a cousin more so to kind of rye whiskey in the United States than really any other category uh, of whiskey around the world. You can find that most distilleries in Ireland create single pot still whiskey. Uh, some are their main production focus, such as Boan Distillery in Drada or Clannacilty Distillery in uh, Clannacilty in West Cork. Other distilleries produce it for a couple of months or a couple of weeks per year to add to their inventory of single malt whiskey as well. They're produced slightly differently. The breakdown is quite different between malt and unmalted barleys. Uh, it takes different processes and some distilleries are only set up for malt uh, distillation, which makes single pot still inefficient to uh, mature or to break down and create whiskey with. Thus, they don't produce it for the entire year. It's just because in the distilleries that aren't set up for it, efficiencies go down, which means the amount of alcohol you get out of the same amount of grain, be it single pot still into or against malt, the single pot still will be lower, which means it's more profitable or price affordable to make malt whiskey. So in the grand scheme of things, single pot still whiskey is a traditional style of whiskey made in Ireland. It's been made for at least the last couple of hundred years. It's been made all across the island. It is what this whiskey style that made Ireland famous. And it is in a revival in the new Irish whiskey revolution that is going on currently in 2023 and onwards. This can be found in new releases from pretty much every distillery and whiskey brand out there. 
and will definitely be one of the biggest talking points of whiskey going forward because it is currently under review whether or not the definition should change from its current 30% malt, 30% unmalted and 5% other grains to a more broader 30-30-30 definition which is 30% minimum malt, 30% minimum uh, unmalted barley and up to 30% other grains constraining it just to oat, sweet and rye which is the traditional uh, essentially recipe that would have been used all across the country is this 30 30 30 and this will be going up for public consultation sometime in 2030 2023 or early 2024 and this is where we're going to see a lot of talking points around this category and depending on the outcome of the public consultation a change to the eu definition of single pot still whiskey Single pot still can be made in other uh, jurisdictions in other countries. Uh, it's not just in Ireland that this can be made. Like the definition of single malt, single malts can be made anywhere in the world as long as you can uh, conform to the definition of a single malt. Same thing for single pot still. In the United States, there are a few distilleries that make uh, single pot still, uh, most notably Talnua in uh, Arvada, Colorado. Uh, they are making all Colorado grown uh, single pot still whiskey. And then in the UK in Scotland um, and Starney Distillery are currently distilling some single pot still recipes. Um, I also believe there are some other distilleries that aren't publicly distilling single pot still as the Scottish are looking at what the Irish are doing in terms of flavour creation with these grains. None of these whiskies, be it in Colorado or Scotland or England or anywhere else, uh, like in the French Pyrenees, is also pot still being made. Um, none of these can be called Irish single pot still. That is the protected term, single pot still Irish whiskey altogether is a protected term under the European Geographic Indication Units, but single pot still whiskey or single pot still on its own is not a protected term and can be produced anywhere. But now you're in the know.